All right, hello um, and welcome to Asian PM session. It's one hour to New York midnight. Um, my name is Reese. I'll be your tour guide. I am a student of Inner Circle Traders and Online Personalities. Name is Michael. I'm not a crazy person if I say Michael this, Michael that. He's a real person. Um, so I use his models. And I will tell you when I'm employing one of his models to take a trade. So uh, I did just take a loss. Um, we are up right now. Um, let me check where we're at on this account. I had to reset it. We're on a step two account. Um, it no longer exists. But I'm still one of the lucky few that have it. So guys, our profit goal for today is 157, 197. Um, let's again, that's 157, 197. So we've got a ways to go. Uh, we've got we've got like 2,700 dollars to make. So we got work to do. Um, we might not get there today on Friday. We shall see. Um, we shall see. So guys, ICT breaker. I will show you the first model that I'm using. Um, is going to be the ICT breaker. So ICT breaker is high, low, higher high, and you can see that it targeted liquidity there. So that's ICT breaker. One standard deviation is your bread and butter, and that will take us down here. And that confirms, okay, you see how that confirms liquidity over here? That should be where price wants to go. Okay, I think that we're looking at a draw on liquidity here down at this Thursday New York lunch low. I know that says 13.30, lunch goes for 90 minutes. So I think that our low here at 191 spot 25 should be uh, a draw on liquidity. So that ICT breaker is our first pattern. Okay. It's our, well, it's a PD array, premium discount array. And then also, guys, you can see that price is currently trading in relative to this larger dealing range that we see on the a 30 minute chart, we're currently trading um, in a premium right around that optimal trade entry, 60, uh, 60 and a half, um, 0 0.605. So I think price should be drawing lower. Now, any arguments for higher? I mean, obviously, we've got these equal highs up here that are kind of looking juicy, buy side liquidity, but I think that this is going to be saved for tomorrow. I don't think they're going to run that during the electronic session. I think they're going to run us down and then non-farm payrolls back up. It's kind of my thinking. Like, that's looking like pretty juicy. Okay. So I do think that we get up there, but not in the overnight session. I don't think. But if I start to see us draw up there, that's what we're looking for. Okay. It's music time. I'm getting a little bit too excited tonight.
All right, we're here. Uh, probably, you know, let this recording go for an hour or so. That will take us to our first liquidity target if this is going to be an order block. Um, we'll see. But we're trading. We're here. I might make some coffee. Let's see here what we got going on. I need some coffee. Yeah, might be coffee time. Coming up on New York midnight soon, so not expecting a lot of movement. I do expect the draw to be lower at this point, although. I will tell you that these equal highs are corn. Well, not exactly equal highs, but price could definitely drop there. So we'll see. I'm not going to uh, get in the second contract. Um, any other models that we're looking at? Yeah, guys. I mean, inverted fair value gap here would be nice. And get that to come back down. Um, invert this Bissy, come down. That would be ideal. I don't know if it's going to do that. So we see we traded through that busy and I like to see it trade up and like that. So we'll see if it, do, if it does that. So inverted fair value gap model. But it's, it appears like it's just going to use this busy here as just support. Um, I could be getting my draw on liquidity wrong, but that looks like a pretty good bearish breaker to me. So I don't see a whole lot of argument for it to come back up, other than the, you know the, the these highs up here. They could want that. Yeah, I got a gentleman from Canada who's um, you know going after me for making top step videos, like guy. I have nothing. Um, I have to try and make income. 
be clear. So, uh, you know, the passive-aggressive stuff, LP, I'm, it's not really going to get you very far. I have to make money. So, uh, yeah. We're going to leave it at that, my friend. Um, of course, I do hope that you come back with your analysis soon. Um, so I'm just going to... That's your kind of passive-aggressive stuff. Uh, I'm going to let that slide, and we're going to move on. We're going to move on, Mr. LP. Um, if you want to keep taking shots, that's okay, my friend. I don't care what you think. I do like your analyses, though, so I hope that you make more of those videos. But the kind of the passive-aggressive stuff, that doesn't do anything for me. I don't really know where you think you're getting with that. Uh, answer's nowhere. <laughs> uh, so, if you think you can outwork me, my friend, we'll see. The answer is you cannot. But we will see, my friend. I do like your analysis, so I would like you to come back and you know get an analysis video out there. Maybe the passive-aggressive stuff can go away, hopefully soon. Um, if not, I'll give you the same answer I did before, which is, okay. All right, we're drawing higher. Um, all right, that's why I only added on one contract. Kind of want to just, you know, let this play out. I have a hard time believing that price is going to stay up here. This looks like it's going to come and shoot down into some discount, run this low, I think. So... Uh, I'm not going to take a loss in this yet. I might add on a second contract. So we can see that we use this Bissy here, um, traded down through it, found support there. Kind of the next model that I'm going to look for for a potential resistance here is going to be this volume bounce up here. Okay. See if we get a reaction up there. And if we do, um, then uh, the second contract is going to come on up there. I do believe that price. Um, made a valid breaker here, so A, B, C, that's a um, ICT bearish breaker. I believe that that to be a valid breaker, um, and I think we're going to draw down to this low. That's kind of the current thinking, and what price is doing right now does not really invalidate that idea, so let's talk me through that. Yeah, LP, I'm not really sure, and I don't, you know, I, you know, and I mean this to be accurate, like, I just don't really know sometimes when you make your passive-aggressive comments, like, what is the purpose of that? I don't really understand. Um, I guess you just got some frustration you want to get out there, and um, that's okay. I'll let you get that out. Yeah, the YouTube algorithm seems to be um, getting some of my videos out there. Okay, guys, we are in drawdown. Now, the reason why I cost average into a trade is because oftentimes I'm not going to get the first entry correct. Okay? If we're being honest, my first entries are not always great. But my second entry, my third entry, watch out. Okay, because I don't... I'm not convinced yet that price is drawing up into these highs. It could come all the way back up, but this is looking like a, you know, it looks like an ICT bearish breaker to me. So, next model that we're looking at, guys, is ICT order block. That's going to be right here, just sitting above price, and ICT inverted wick. So price could uh, react here off this wick or off this order block. You know, by the way, I want to show you all a standard deviation with uh, order block. So you can see the price came using this order block here as um, as 
a projection forward, you can see it came down three standard deviations lower, and that confirmed this short-term liquidity target that it didn't quite didn't quite run. So you can use these standard deviation projections on an order block as well. Okay, we are coming up on a volume imbalance here, ICT volume imbalance. We are sitting in drawdown. Um, that's why we're not going into heavy wants. We're cost averaging, guys, because I can bring this position like up here at this point. So it's not so bad, my friends. It's not so bad. So that's just uh, risk management. I like cost averaging. I don't like putting all the contracts at the same time. All right, we're watching price. We're using our ICT models, IC, uh, ICT order block right here, and ICT uh, inverted wick. Guys, this is also, okay, high, low, high. That is an ICT four minute breaker as well. So we're up at ICT breaker, um, and pretty quick, contract number two is gonna come on here, guys. Um, and we'll see if we can get into um, a decent position here. I want to pay the spread. Okay, we're, up, we're we're in two. So we're coming up to ICT volume imbalance. That could provide uh, resistance. Um, we're at ICT breaker here. So I have reason to believe that price should draw back down lower. If it does not, we're going to take a loss. It's really that simple, guys. Like if it does, your idea doesn't work, you take a loss. I'll tell you. We are sitting in a premium in our dealing range, so it should go seek discount. That's a premium discount model. Okay, second contract brought our average position here up to 29 three quarters. We have a high, we have a low, and we have a higher high that did take, in, take some short-term liquidity. That is ICT breaker, and we're trading into that ICT breaker right now. So 
ICT breaker would be from here to here. Okay. That's ICT breaker. I'm expecting potentially some reaction here to the downside. That's kind of my current thinking. Right in here. And if I start, I will add on the third contract if I start to see it. That should be a valid breaker. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave it. All right, guys, nothing has really changed here. We're working at that midpoint of that bearish breaker. Um, we're also working in, a, um, you see, just getting back into this, reclaiming the SIBI back here. Okay. Um, I would like to see that little inefficiency right where my cursor is. I'd like to see that remain open. That's what I would like to see there. Es würde mir gefällt, wenn diese Ineffizienz offen bleiben würde. Offen bleiben. Ist. Die lassen es offen bleiben.
A short three. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to leave the uh, recording going. I am glad that you are with me. Um, we're watching the NASDAQ. We're short three. Uh, we're looking at uh, ICT bearish breaker model here, so point A, point B, point C that, that goes into liquidity. Um, I'm looking at this low from Thursday New York lunch to be a draw on liquidity. Okay, draw on liquidity down here at 192.75. I think that is where... Price will want to draw there and then lower. Um, that is the one standard deviation. If that is a valid breaker, that's one standard deviation. So that should be um, a reasonable target here for the overnight session. Now, it might take a while, but um, that is kind of what I'm currently thinking. Now, uh, counter argument would be that we're going to draw higher up above this buy side liquidity and this buy side liquidity. I find that hard to believe right now. Coming up into a little inefficiency here that I'd like to stay open. It's not going to. Um, I'm not going to add on the fourth contract here. You're going to wait. Uh, I would prefer to see another model come. See the price came down here into this wick inefficiency midway point of that found support. We then created a bissy the price traded back to, found support, and now we're trading up into this bearish breaker. Trading into a volume imbalance that could provide some resistance. We're also trading up into, we're getting near uh, a rejection block up here. So we will see how high it wants to go against me. be a very reasonable spot for price to find some resistance. I don't really want to put on more risk here. That could be a very good spot for it to turn around. Okay. All right. Coming up to the top of the bearish breaker, I'm going to add on the fourth contract here. Okay, we're watching this now. We're short four. We're coming up to um, ICT bearish breaker here. The wick inefficiency could also invert. We're trading above the bearish breaker now. This would be from point A to point, point A here to point B. Um, wouldn't like to see price go much higher than this. It could be drawing up into this nearest high here, which I thought was, you know, a breaker. Okay. Right about to the spot where I would want to see price turn around. Getting through that bearish breaker, getting through that price action here on the left. Trading just above it. Show you the executions. See the first contract came on it, very suboptimal, but second, third, and fourth contracts. All right, so first contract here, I thought we were immediately turning lower, didn't happen. So we've been cost averaging in here now. Um, might have been a little bit too aggressive. This should probably just be three contracts. But we're taking it one contract at a time. 
watching it. We have a lot of drawdown to work with, guys. So we're not in any trouble at the moment. Although, you know, I don't like what I'm seeing exactly. Would really want to start to see some resistance here in this bearish breaker, if it's a valid bearish breaker. Invert, invert that wick too. Yeah, I will say that um, in the in the effort of risk management, one contract needs to come off closer. So right there, that would be our breaker low. If this is a valid breaker, then our our Okay. Now we're watching. myself and to show you as one hour chart you can see that from point A to point B uh, we're currently sitting above that 50%, which would be right about there. So we are sitting in a premium. We're sitting right at about the 50% point of this SIBI here. So I'm of the opinion that price should begin its journey lower um, soon. So I believe that for price to offer a fair and efficient price, it will need to come down lower. And I think what price has in the crosshairs is this right here. Okay. That low right there uh, and it could even go lower than that but that's one standard deviation of that bearish breaker so point a point b point c it's an abc pattern now guys one of the things that ict teaches about um, the bearish breaker is that this leg here right that leg is that protraction is manipulation okay it's manipulation it's time distortion and i believe that that what we're seeing right now this price action that's coming back into the bearish breaker I think that if this were a different time of the day and price was ready to make a nice healthy run, you wouldn't see that. I think that's time distortion as well. Okay, just kind of drifting price um, back up into the bearish breaker before, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to scare people, right? It's not the right time of the day for it to make a, a nice healthy move. Although last night it did. Right around now it started making a big move. And guys, we got non-farm payrolls tomorrow, so we could make a pretty decent sized move. Uh, in an unexpected time like now. So guys, we're using ICT um, advanced breaker block theory. We're using standard deviation projections and uh, volume imbalance here was also uh, acting as resistance. So using a couple of different ICT models, focusing on the breaker. Breaker is a great model, guys. A very powerful model. ICT will tell you that. So we're coming back into break even, guys. Um, I'm going to step outside, get a breath of fresh air.
Hello.
All right. Hello. Um, we're an hour into this recording. Um, we're playing this ICT Bears Breaker and seeing. Kind of thinking that it's going to do that over time. see what the chart's doing. We did get that bearish breaker. Um, all right, I'll stop the recording there and we'll start up another one if the market starts uh, moving. Bye.